I really believe that Photoshop is one of the most powerful software to edit photos. But now, if you don't want or don't need to go into great details, or if you are just a beginner and you are a bit scared of opening Photoshop, you can still get great results with Camera Raw and Lightroom. Camera Raw, if you don't know it, is the exact same thing as Lightroom, but integrated into Photoshop. Today I show you using Camera Raw what are the best tools to color grade as best as possible your images. So let's go. I use the six steps to edit my photos in Camera Raw and I will show you everything in details after this little summary. Bonus steps at the end of this video. So I'll start doing my basic adjustments. Uh, okay, so I'll bring up a bit the exposure, a bit of the shadows. bit more contrast. I usually take down the clarity for my photos at least because I like the soft uh, look it gives. Yeah. I'm going to bring uh, down the highlight so I I take back some information in the sky. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So then I'm going to uh, change the temperature. Here you need to know what you're gonna want to do. So here I think I want to um, change the sky and use a sunset sky. Uh, so I'm going to bring the temperature towards the yellow. But if you want to turn this photo into a night photo, uh, you better go into the blue. So see, it's going to be more like this. And in my case, I'm going to take it towards the yellow. Okay. I really don't like these <laughs> colors here, but we're gonna adjust that later. Okay, so for my basic adjustment, from now it's, uh, it's done, uh, but don't hesitate to come back to it uh, later, uh, because we're gonna make some more adjustment and it might change uh, the way it look. Uh, for exposure, for example, or highlight or anything else. Okay, so now I'm going to color grading. And here, uh, usually I do a split toning. So the good thing with color grading is that you can manipulate uh, the colors in the shadow, in the highlight, or in the mid-tones. Mid-tones will be very strong, while shadows and highlight will give a more subtle effect. So uh, usually I go with blue in the shadows. Okay. And more uh, yellow, orange in the highlights. So that's two opposite color. That's why that's why it works well. For midtones, I don't use it, but uh, yeah, I show you how it works. So you can choose uh, the U. So the U is the color. And then uh, if you go up. It will be very saturated. If you go down, that will be not too saturated. So you can see here how it looks. It's like a very strong filter. And here is the luminance. So you can see like low luminous luminance and high luminance. Okay. So I'm going back to zero. I don't want to use mid tones. Okay, so let's see. You can see that it already uh, gives a kind of look that is a little too strong for me, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to go on the color mixer, which is a very interesting tool uh, section in the camera row. So you can manipulate color by color. So for example, I'm going to show you with the uh, with the reds. So you can change the hue of your reds. So here it's very magenta. Here it's going to be orange, and here you go back to your normal reds. Okay. So I want something stronger, so more saturated. Okay. And I think I like kind of like the hue like that. Maybe more orange. Uh, for the greens, 
every greens in your image you need to know that usually it's more yellow than green so really try uh, around um, with yellow and the green and see where um, the, the manipulation is happening in your image you can also use this tool where you only need to go where on the color you want to manipulate and then it will uh, manipulate this color the problem uh, the problem here uh, is that you won't be able to mask it out at this stage so be careful because if you are only focused on this part it's also changing the colors of other parts for example here see i just if i just wanted to manipulate the wall well it's not working because it manipulates uh, every other colors in the image so now let's manipulate the blue a little bit okay so here you can see you really need to manipulate different colors to change one color in your image like you can see my green is not only green it's also yellow and probably other colors even okay so so far he had the changes that we made okay so then curves is very powerful uh, tool to use uh, i think maybe the most powerful uh, to use in photoshop as well i don't always use the curves here in, uh, in camera or i usually use it uh, inside of Photoshop but here because I want to show you how it works I'm going to use it so here I added some more contrast as you can see and then you can use the different channels so blue green and uh, red so I want to add some more blue in the shadows and some uh, yellow in the highlights so instead of taking towards the yellow so on the towards the blue so uh, on the left i'm going to take it down so it makes yellow of course you do it with a subtle effect not just like i showed you okay let's add some reds in the highlight and you can see only with the curls we have a strong color grading I might need to add some more yellow Geometry is nice if you want to make sure your image is uh, all good, straight and everything I'm going to add some vignetting I think I want my viewer to look more uh, at this hotel here and then the people here for now the eyes are going too much into the water because it's very bright which i don't like too much but we're gonna fix that okay so i'm gonna i'm adding a linear gradient i don't want to see the overlay so i can see my adjustment and take down the exposure add a bit of blue some contrast okay so my high my eyes are not too focused on this part of the image um, let's add another one for the sky so you see now you can have very uh, different very different kind of filter for me I'm gonna stick with the stick with the linear gradient because I like it Um, let's see if I had a razor gradient so the eyes will be focused on this part of the image let's see yeah for now if I don't change the sky that would be probably a little too bright here but I know that I'm going to add a sunset sky so that would be okay at the end 
Okay, so now the eyes is a bit more focused on what I want them to focus on. Uh, okay. So at the end it's more an overall look at camera roll than only color grading, but yeah, nice. Okay, so you can see it really changed the mood of the image. We bring back a lot of information, we started to do a lot of color adjustments. So now if we want to be a bit more uh, focused on each part of the image we can use the brush so for example I think I want this building the blue on the building to be more blue actually okay so I'm going to add more contrast more blue Yeah, I like that. Okay, and now I want to take that part here and add more saturation to it. Yeah, and more lights. Because I really like this part, like this light coming from this window. I think it adds something in the image. Uh, I think it's a bit too much though. The calibration tool can be a nice tool to use uh, for color grading as well. You really need to try things around and see uh, what it does. Like, I like it like that actually. It's a tool I really don't use often. I think we can take the saturation down a little bit. Then I'm going to go back to color mixer and take down the red, the saturation of the red. Okay, bring back some green. Yeah. Let's see overall what we did. And then you can go into Photoshop and clean, for example, some of the leaves. And maybe be a bit more uh, detailed on the colors. So for example, I would probably bring this building a bit more yellow uh, same for the flowers so they would pop more in the image and yeah change the sky for sure it's going to give us uh, another look for the image so when you change the sky with uh, water don't forget to also add the sky in the water otherwise it will look very fake and add some lights uh, to match it um yeah I think I might also manipulate the colors here in Photoshop but overall I'm happy with this um, development and with what I did in Camera Raw. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like the video, it's helping a lot. You can follow my journey day by day on Instagram at Chloe and the link will be in the description.